Bonnie Bojo. Say go quay quay kinawea. So this is Grandmother Kim and I'm um, preparing some cedar to freeze. So I don't always have time to go and harvest it and I go to a forest and so when I get a bunch of cedar I go through it all as I said earlier and I clean it all up. I remove all the debris and I wash it and then you can just put it into freezer bags and it freezes really well and you take out only what you need. But I always like to put it in clean so that when I take it out I can pop it right into a pot to make cedar tea. And cedar is an amazing, amazing gift. There are so many things that we get from cedar. It's full of vitamin C uh, and the kind that the body most easily absorbs. It has a tremendous smell. It can help to cleanse skin and sores. It's really good for rashes. Um, so there's a wide variety of uses for cedar and most people think of cedar today as something that you'd use perhaps in your closet to prevent moss from eating your sweaters or uh, maybe in um, uh, you know, a keepsake box where you want to put something that's really important to you. Um, I, however you choose to use it, I always give thanks for this beautiful gift and I try to make sure that I never waste any that I get and I take a I take great care to ask permission to harvest it um, and when I make my tea I, I take care to ask her to you know help my body and to provide the nourishment that she can and I thank her for that so you can see here I've got my bowl and I've got all clean cedar in here and I'm just gonna wash that off really good and check for any other um, brown bits or pieces that I don't want and turning it over sometimes exposes um, brown bits that you don't want in your tea um, and sometimes you'll see uh, little bugs floating around in the water as well don't get all freaked out it, it is a home to other beings so this is how I I prepare for future cups of cedar tea so I hope that was helpful for you